but only one has the capacity to destroy all the others. Today I'll be talking to you about the greatest problem of our time, global warming. So I'm going to start off by stand up if you've had beef or steak in the past two weeks. So just by having one patty, you're contributing 30 pounds of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Now stay standing if you take a bus or a car to school. I'm standing, I'm standing because I take a bus. So you see, just by driving a car three miles, that's two and a half pounds of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So these things and others combined for each of us emits 20 metric tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere each year. Okay, so this leads to a problem called global warming. Yeah, you can sit down. Global warming is alterations in weather due to the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is a phenomena where certain gases like methane from cows, nitrous oxide from fertilizer, and carbon dioxide from industry and cars traps heat in our atmosphere like a greenhouse. The problem is when there's too many of these gases, then our earth gets hotter. Okay, one of the main causes for this is deforestation, when we clear trees for agriculture. 18 million acres of forest is cleared each year, but one tree in one season provides enough oxygen for 10 people to breathe in a year. So we need to be planting our trees instead of cutting them down. Okay, you can see the increased temperatures in DC. We have 16 to 1 ratio of record hot days to cold days, which is like pretty significant. Also, hot temperatures leads to prime condition for mosquitoes, which causes these like the Zika virus. Also, our coral reefs are disappearing, and coral reefs are important because they provide billions of dollars in fishing industry. They're home to 9 million species, and many people depend on them. Also, our glaciers are melting. Glaciers provide 70% of the Earth's fresh water. That's really important to millions of people. Also, when they melt, all of these islands are going underwater. They have less than 100 years because when the glaciers melt, they flow into the sea and the sea rises. You can see on your table there's pictures of when my mom went to the Marshall Islands and taught and wrote a textbook about their history. You can see all these beautiful people, beautiful places that don't deserve to go underwater because of our reckless behavior. Also, there's increased floods and droughts and natural disasters because each degree the earth warms, clouds hold 7% more water. So that means in coastal areas where there's more clouds, there's going to be more natural disasters, more floods, more precipitation. And then the opposite's also true. In areas like the Midwest, where there's less clouds, there's going to be more droughts like California, Guatemala, Philippines, Kenya. It's happening everywhere. This is a global problem. All right. It also affects almost every species of wildlife. Two thirds of polar bears will be gone by 2050 if we continue on this current path. Elephants are losing their water. If the sea rises by 11 inches, almost all the tigers in Bangladesh will be gone. Orangutans are getting hurt by wildfires. Okay, so the good thing is that many businesses are committing towards sustainability. Notably, Wilmar, which is a palm oil company, and uh, Asia Pulp and Paper, which is a paper company, that's where we get most of our paper from. So if they're committing to deforestation, hopefully our government will take the same steps. Clean energy, another good thing there, because each hour that the sun beams on our earth, we get enough energy to power it for a year. So all we gotta do is harness that energy. Like Denmark powered 100% on wind, Germany is having a big solar boom. So it's possible, we can do it. So these are some ways that you can help. You can see on the sheet on your table, if you start a garden, you can save a lot of the pesticides from corporate farms. Also, if you just don't idle, you know, 10 minute idle is 50 miles of driving. You can save a lot of gas, save a lot of carbon. Also, if you don't um, mow your lawn a lot, if you just mow it every you know two weeks or something, then you save a lot of carbon there as well. So the last thing is get outside. Because if you get outside and you witness the beauty of nature, then you're gonna be much more likely to protect it. There's a lot of beautiful things out there. 
So join me in saving the planet.